Hey y'all, today I'm gonna to teach y'all how to make a lampshade with some tacks, a cutout of a shark, and some scissors. This might not be for the kids at the house, but at least for the teens of the house. What we're gonna do is, is we're gonna start off, you're gonna cut out your favorite shark. I had to use a cutout because I'm not that artsy enough to be able to draw one on there. So I'm gonna cut this out. Picture me doing a very good job as I pay attention to detail. Not to mention all this month is Shark Weeks at the library. So I thought that this one might be nice to do. So let's picture me cutting this out very well. You see? All right, look at here. Now, here we go. Ta-da, right there. Now, I really did this one. So what I did was, is I put the shark where I wanted to on the lampshade. Obviously, I tacked it a few times just to make sure it would hold it in place. And then you're gonna get one more tack. And all we're gonna do is, is really just do a little bitty outline of the shark. And what's gonna happen is, eventually, when you poke all these holes in the shark, you're gonna put it on your lamp and it's gonna shine through. I've done this several times in the past. It takes a little while to do it, but it's really worth it when you get done. Of course, I believe they should make longer tacks. I think my hands are a little bit too big. We're gonna keep going. You don't wanna put them too close, but you don't wanna put them too far. If you put them too close, what happens is, look at see what I did there. Put them too close, so you're not going to be able to get the dots. It's just going to be kind of a, a blur of lines and dots. Of course, you don't have to be exact, neither. That's why it's such a great craft for me. Let's see, I was going to remove that tack anyways once I got up there. I didn't have to because my big clumsy hands took it out. Anyways, we're gonna continue to keep dropping things, picking them back up. Sometimes I'll hit a little stopping point And just continue in another direction just to kind of change it up a little bit. I've done this before with a shark and I used a blue bulb. And then I even painted some ocean scenes on it. A stingray, I believe. I think we got them all punched out. All right, we'll release the tacks. See what it looks like. Oh, I can see it already. I got a little light here. Look at that. Looks like a shark. Now, if you don't want to use the tacks, which I don't blame you, you can actually just use acrylic paint with some little brushes paint little scenes this is my ocean i could even put the shark in the ocean i hope you enjoyed this i sure did thank you so much